Hi, and in today's Microsoft Word tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a hanging indent in Word. Now, hanging indents are largely used for things like bibliographies, but I will show you how to do that for a normal document as well. So as you can see, I've just got a demo bibliography here. And what we want to do is that every second line of our paragraph or our publication, we want it indented so far. So the easy way to do this is to select all of the text that you need to be indented or have a hanging indent. Right click, go down to paragraph, and then this dialog box will appear. As you can see, we're on the indents and spacing. And if we go down to the indentation section, you can go to special, click on the drop down, and then click hanging. And here you can see that your hanging indent or the distance that your second line will come into the document from the left will be 1.27 centimeters. And you can adjust that by the, using these up and down arrows here, or you can leave it as is. And then just go down and click OK. And as you can see now, every line after the first line is indented. Now you can further adjust this by selecting all and you can adjust this line here or the way it's indented by using this triangle at the top here. Now if we move the triangle left and right you can see that the distance it's indented moves. So that's a really quick way to adjust that indent. And again if we just select all of this, get rid of it and I'm just going to put in some random text. And um, let's just get rid of all of that formatting. I'm just going to go to this icon here, gets rid of all the formatting. And let's just space out these paragraphs. And once again, if I select all of the text, right click, paragraph, go to hanging indent and then click OK. And once again, you've created that hanging indent. If you want to undo any of it, you can just select a particular paragraph. You can either right click, go down to paragraph, and go back up and select none, and click OK. Or you can go to the Home tab, go along to this icon here, and says Clear All Formatting. And what that will do though, it will clear any formatting you have done on this paragraph. So if you've changed the font or you've changed a particular section, it will clear every bit of formatting that you've done in there. So do be careful if you've got other formatting. Now if you do it and you find that it's undone everything and you don't want to, just go back one step, Command or Control Z and just go back one step. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.